inspection day, so I had to take Lily and Parker and leave the house. The only one that got to stay was Dot. So we are now on our way. Oh, let me like rig this. There we go. We're on our way up to Schofield. Um, I'm gonna go to the vet and register Dot and Lily, and then we're gonna have lunch with Tom. I hope that I'm gonna have enough time to do all of this. Uh, because I have to get Caitlin at 1.15. So, I mean, if not, then I can register. I, Tom can go in and register the animals. It's not that big of a deal, um, which he may have to do, depending on how long it takes. It's gonna take me like 20 minutes to get up there. So it's gonna be 11 when I get up there. And then I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we need to eat lunch like, 11.30ish, 11.45, so that I can get back down here and get Caitlin. And then my realtor just told me that they're probably going to be done by 1, which is what they told us they would be yesterday or the day before. So now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with two kids and a dog <laughs> for a little bit. Let me just go over to the park and play for a while. It'll be the easiest thing to do. So... This is the only stressful part about it, I think, is just like trying to figure out what to do with a dog. Like if, it, if I just had to leave, it's not a big deal. I can go shopping, you know, I can do all kinds of stuff. But when you have a dog, there's a lot less things that you can obviously go do because I can't take her into the mall. I can take her into TJ Maxx. It's the only store I think I can really take her in, but whatever. So, Lily, I am shutting the window. She knows how to roll windows down. She's trying to right now, and I have it locked. <laughs> I have a cute braid today. I'm pretty happy with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was able to like put some makeup on. I got another um, Urban Decay Naked palette. Um, I got their two basics. Uh, there's like, there's four big palettes. One, two, three, and then there's the new one, the Smoky. Um, and then they've got a, a couple small ones. And this one that I just got, I had a gift card, and so I got that one. And it's um, it's called Naked Two Basics. And it's just like a, a matte. Um, all the colors, they're very natural, neutral colors. Um, and they're all matte. There's no shimmery, sparkly ones, but that's okay. I like it. Um, so that's, I'm kind of becoming obsessed with Urban Decay makeup. Uh, I've never really gotten into any other kinds of makeup other than Mary Kay because that's all I've known since I was a teenager was Mary Kay. And um, I'm starting to branch out. I've never been a MAC fan. Now when I was in cosmetology school, like all the girls were into MAC. I was like one of the only ones that wasn't. And I still have just never gotten into it. I don't know, like I, I'm just not a huge fan, but I really do like um, Sephora, their line. I like their line. And then um, I'm really getting to know Urban Decay and theirs. And um, I do like Bare Minerals, more of just like their, some of their foundations and stuff. But I went into Sephora the other day when I had the gift card um, that I used and uh, I asked someone, because I know my exact color with Mary Kay, with the products I use there, but I don't know, like, I don't know my color for other, you know, other brands. So I, um, I went ahead and I asked if someone could match me and, um, I had to be put on a freaking list, okay? A list. And, um... We waited a couple minutes and I was like, you know what? This is dumb. I'll just get what I know. What I know it works. It doesn't hurt my skin. All right, here we are. Oh, look at that. Who's that? We got a pooch. Hey, when don't people worry. don't let don't let you back up. It That's annoys so me. annoying. It's not like I'm like I'm like halfway out and they're yeah. still that they have to go around me. Yeah. So we did Lily's vet trip. She got all registered. Babe, you're white in my mirror, though. Thank you. See, now you know how I feel. I don't put my hand in the mirror. Yes, you do. Oh, I do not. When? You have done it before. Oh my gosh, he is absolutely ridiculous, you guys. Anyway, 
She's all registered, so she's gonna get her get an appointment one of these days. Her and Dot. Her and Dot. They oh need gosh, rabies. Poor Dot. They need rabies vaccinations before they fly. So, as you all know, we are anti-vaxxers. We are the same way with our pets. They even eat grain-free food. All right. So, obviously, you can understand our concern with moving around and whatnot. That we would have to get our pets vaccinated for yeah. flying and things like that. But, well, but it's a requirement. They don't have to have all the vaccinations though. I called the vet and I was like, I don't want to do anything I don't have to. I want the bare minimum. They're like, all you need is rabies. Yeah. And. So Lily just needs one as like a refresher because her other one, ex the first one that she ever got expires this year. Yeah. But Dot's gonna need two. Yeah, so I'm okay with the rabies. I'm, I'm okay with that. Like yeah. as much as I don't want them to have anything, they have to be able to fly. But, and then we're gonna do the flea and tick treatment just because they are gonna be around other animals, so it's probably best. I could do the heartworm if we want, but I really don't think that we need to. Do you? No. I don't think we do. Lily's fine. She's eight years old. And Dot doesn't go outside, so. No. Well, she does, but. She escapes, but she gets terrified and comes back in. Yeah. So, but we don't have to do all of that until April, um, which is kind of, kind of nice because I was just like kind of stressing. Well, Dot's going to have to be earlier because she needs two vaccinations. So we have to schedule Dot first. See, they told me that I just needed to bring Dot in the one time and that she would be taken care of. Uh, I think we need to call him. Well, I can or call him. Or look at the requirements. Because I thought that She's it was... had one rabies shot. But we don't have any documentation. Yes, I do. You do? What's the paperwork that they gave us? Oh, well, if we can find it, then then, then she only needs one. Yeah. Yep. Don't tell me how to drive. Oh my gosh. I don't tell you how to drive. That's because I'm a semi-professional driver. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Not everyone can claim that status. Oh I know, buddy. He's going to be one, too. Tell him off work, guys. Yeah. But we're still on post. I gotta yeah. get my car. And I gotta go get Caitlin. And then we have to find something to do for a little bit. I think we should go to TJ Maxx because we can take Lily in there. Oh my gosh. You said the dog park. Uh, that was an option. Dog park. All right. That's staying in. <laughs> How you doing back there, Pooch? Huh? I'm not too sure if she likes car rides or not. Whoa. So super, super right. she, of course, rolled down the window as soon as she got in the car. Oh yeah, she's really smart. She knows about how to roll the windows down. And it's funny because when I locked it, she, I could hear her trying to press yeah. it. She knows Wait, how to do it. Which way should I be going? You need to go left. Okay, that's what I thought. There she is. Hey, what, what, what you got on your shirt there? What? What's on your shirt? The Browns. The Cleveland, the Cleveland Browns, that's right. She's rep, repping the Cleveland Browns. Right, let me get back. Hi, Lil. Lily's actually got grass to run around in, although she doesn't like to run because she's old. Here, let me see the ball. Oh, don't throw it at me. <laughs> Lily, oh, ready? One, two, go get it. Remember when she used to like just run so fast? Yeah. What happened? Oh, to you dog? boring dog. What happened to you, Lil? She's old. She's eight. Do you always say she's still a young pup? She is a young. She thinks she's a young pup, but she has her old moments. Oh, is that what it is? Huh, Lil? Plus, it's hot. Ready? One, two, go get it. <laughs> She's like, uh, no thanks. So we did our house inspection. Well, we didn't do our house inspection. No. It got done from the buyers. And our realtor said everything went well. There wasn't really, there wasn't any major thing. Well, so but, you just have to wait. Yeah, but obviously with the inspector, he'll, he'll write down every little thing. Like if a knob is loose, he'll write it down. So it's up to the, up to the buyers to decide if they want us to do anything or not. Uh, and we'll just wait. That's 
that's all we had to do. And then really the next thing is pretty much selling Sign, the house. Like, yeah, signing the papers. Yeah, there's not much, not much left. No. So I got off early because I, since I'm going to the field and I have to wake up super early in the morning, they let us off, so. We're at the dog park. Hi, Lil. No, there's no friends for you to play with, though. No friends. But there's this little guy. Oh. This little guy with his little hat. I think he needs a new one. Why it's is it? It's a little big. It's all right. I mean, it's a little, his head's too big. <laughs> So yeah, in our little area they have two dog parks. They have this one which is for small dogs and then they have one way over there for big dogs. But well, we've taken her on that. Yeah, before. and then they have like this uh, big field and like a kid's playground. I mean the field is huge. Yeah, they have a playground, like a little work area and everything. Yeah, we do work out here sometimes. Actually, when we first started, when she first started to get, get back into shape and everything like that, because I, because for, because before last year, was it last year, the race? So we did a Spartan race last year. No. Or 2000, no. 2014. Yeah. Holy crap! That was a long time ago. <laughs> 2014, we did a Spartan race, and she's never done anything physical like that, like obstacle courses or whatever. And I do it all the time. So she wanted to get ready, so we started her workout regimen because she was deemed to be skinny fat. She was, she was I little, didn't, little. I didn't deem myself that. He deemed me that. <laughs> Him and our friend Jason. That's what they call yes. girls. Skinny fat. So they're skinny and they look fit, but they're completely out of shape. You can barely even walk up a flight of steps without huffing. And <laughs> that puffing. was me. That was her. <laughs> So we started off running like a little over a half a mile and she had to stop like three times on her very first run, I remember. And I came back like I yeah. thought I was going to die. I yeah. was sucking air through my butthole. And then, <laughs> it was horrible. And then by the time the race was going, she was running almost four miles a day, or not every day, but four miles of, you know, every couple of days a week. Two times a week I was yeah. running. So, and then this guy came along. <laughs> so mommy's starting back from square one, but I'm up to almost two miles. Yes. And I ran like almost one in what I was at like 1.69 miles yeah, on Monday. Yep. So I'm getting there. Like I mean, this is much faster than my first started running. It took me months to get up. True. To just three miles. And not only that, she is pushing a stroller. While against she's the wind half like, the time. Against the wind. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Yeah. So. Sure Bitch, by the way, I did not. I did not tell you guys yesterday. I'm in the middle of running, right over here along the right over that the, way. the walkway. The wheel of the stroller yeah. came off. <laughs> it just came off. But um, if you get super super famous, and if you're super famous, and if you still go to the post office, um, you you in the mail, um, you might get the silver play button or the golden play button. Cool. If you're super famous for what? Oh, Continue the yeah. story. So anyway, in the middle of literally, literally, I am in the middle of running and it just falls off the stroller. And like I had to like grab the stroller so it didn't tip over. And so I lay it down, Park, holding Parker's it. Parker is okay, in first, the stroller. Yeah, yeah, Parker's in there. He's strapped in. But so I'm holding the stroller with one arm to keep it somewhat up, unbuckling him, calling him at the same time and trying to get him out with one hand while I'm holding the stroller so it doesn't tip over. I get him out and I'm on the phone with Tom, I'm like, the wheel just came off, like, what am I gonna do? I am still, like... Did you bring your keys? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know, like, three quarters of a mile from home, okay? So, I didn't know what I was gonna do. Well, there's a button right where the brake is that if you push it in, it unlocks the wheel. So either I push that button when I unlock the wheel or something, and it, but here's the thing, it stayed on the stroller all the way from the house, all the way down there, around and up here. Like, over a mile, it stayed on the stroller. I have no idea how. And it literally came off right before I was done because I stopped here at the park to play for a little bit. So it happened like right before I was done 
running to here. <laughs> so anyway, it was quite scary. I figured out how to get it back on and it locked, but the whole way, the rest of the way home, I was so paranoid that it was gonna fall off. Yeah. It was horrible. <sighs> so. That's my sad story from yesterday. Disaster averted. It was, but I was just like, all I kept thinking was, how am I gonna get home? Yeah, oh, now she, she's back to her normal <laughs> self, running back and forth on the fence, barking. <laughs> She used to do that all the time. We used to live on a corner. We used to live on a corner house when we were in California, and she would run back and forth on the wall by the street, just barking at cars and trucks that would go by. Then, then she we call her NASCAR puppy, and she would literally like sprint from one end, from like one, one end of our house, yeah. all the way to the other end, and she was back super and forth. fast. We have so many videos of her doing yeah, that. Yeah, like I right, look at this big boy. Come here, bud. Look at this big boy. Uh oh. That's how the big boy crawls. Just like that. Only in the grass though. He doesn't do it in the, on the other floors. Just here. Huh, bud. Is that fun? Oh, his feet are so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at these orange feet. Look at that orange little foot. It's so orange. So Katie is a super helper. Tom leaves for the field tomorrow and she helped him do all of his MREs. Huh, babe? And Tom was giving us an educational lesson on MREs. <laughs> and how disgusting most of them are. I can't believe that he has to eat that stuff. But here's the deal. Okay, this is something that I'm very upset about. He's gonna be gone for how many days? 12. Yeah. 12 days and he has 12 MREs. Please give me the map on that and how my husband's supposed to eat three meals a day on 12 MREs in 12 days. Yeah, he's not. Like how are they? How can they justify only giving them? Resupply, don't they? Even so, they only are giving them enough to have two a day. Yeah. Why? Why is my husband only given two meals a day when obviously it has been proven you need to eat three? He only gets two. Some may say, "Oh, just stop complaining." No. My husband should be eating three meals a day. And how they get off only giving them two, I just don't understand and I am not okay with it. So, anyway, there's my rant. We did easy dinner tonight. We had leftovers from dinner last night and we had a couple pieces of chicken from a couple nights ago. So I just heated all of that stuff up and then I made salad and that's what we had for dinner. Because Parker and I fell asleep on the couch and took a really good nap. He nursed almost the entire time too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He slept for a long time. So like I woke up and I'm like, oh my gosh, how long have I been sleeping? <laughs> Did you not finish the episode? No, Parker turned it off. Like, Parker didn't, didn't it, he didn't want to watch The Bachelor, so he turned it off. And he was very proud of himself too. Well guys, it is bedtime. Tom has to be to work at 3 in the morning, so we are going to go to bed. Um, it was a long day. It was a good day, but it was long. So I'm tired, ready to go night night. The battery is going to die, so I will tell you all good night right now. And I'll talk to you in the morning. Bye.